Welcome, welcome to the Linked Parishes podcast. I'm Donald McCorkendale, Minister of the Parishes of Ardnamurchan and Acharachal, linked with Ardgower, Morvern and Strontian. Around the parishes here, we say that our mission is to serve and worship God, to awaken, develop and sustain meaningful faith in Jesus Christ, to show God's love in practical action, to challenge injustice and violence, and to care for God's creation. Welcome, welcome to you all, to a wee conversation, a wee chat about all the things that are going on around the peninsula churches. And you will be very welcome, whether in one of the church buildings, one of the village halls, or in all that we are doing online. On Thursday there, uh, we had uh, some great conversation at Trees League at the, the village hall there where we're having a, a monthly gathering, usually on the fourth Thursday of the month at half past seven. Some very informal worship, but it's much more about being together and engaging in some, some conversation, conversations that matter. And on Thursday, we were thinking about being and belonging and believing in society. And, well, a kind of deliberately ambiguous starting point took us to some fascinating thoughts around what it means to, to be, to belong and to believe within our, our ever-changing society. And we were talking about how, on the one hand, things around the church or some of the things that we believe maybe aren't changing. We're not changing anything about God's love for all creation. But if we're making that meaningful for a society that is always changing, then the church as that bridge between God and humanity, society, we have to adapt to to change. Actually, this morning I was speaking to uh, a colleague recording a wee piece for the Presbytery uh, podcast, and we were talking about adaptive change, that kind of change where there is no map, there is no clear end point, but we want to be on a journey of discovery and exploration. And, and in so many ways, that's the adventure of, of faith, following the life of, of Jesus, that adventure. And, well, maybe we know something of <laughs> destination, but we enjoy the journey along the way. I heard something the other day that really got me, me thinking. Someone was talking about their own spiritual journey and was saying that rather than focusing on whether their beliefs are true, they wanted to focus on the ways in which their beliefs were helpful. And I think that's a really, a really interesting and, and helpful point for us all to consider. Not in any way suggesting that Christian belief is not true, but maybe we need to emphasise that it is helpful. It can be useful in how we, we navigate life. Many people talk about how they are spiritual but not religious. What is it? What is it that you find helpful in, in all of this? So, an invitation to all. We had some who had travelled quite far to be with us at Trees Lake on Thursday there. And the next gathering will be the, the fourth Thursday in September. And then a wee change in October when we're going to gather there on a Friday evening for a harvest supper and a time to, to give thanks for the fruits of creation and think of all the all the things that we enjoy 
and to think on all those who who bring those good things to us. Looking more immediately ahead, as I'm recording this, it's it's Friday, and that means Sunday's coming, and Sunday worship on Sunday, the last Sunday in August, the 25th, there'll be worship at Ardgower, which uh, Jade McLean will be leading, and at 11 o'clock at Acharachal, there will be worship, sorry, at Ardnamurchan Church, <laughs> Kilhoan, there will be worship with communion, led by one of the visiting summer preachers, the Reverend John McPake. That's 11 o'clock at Ardnamurchan Church. 12 o'clock at Strontian. Jade will be there too. And in the afternoon, half past four, we have our monthly online worship on Zoom. And Jade and myself will be sharing in that. If you're interested in being a part of that and you don't have the Zoom link, then do, do reach out to myself or Jade and we'll get that to you. So that's um, worship this this weekend. The following Sunday, 1st of September, we will be having communion at Acharachal Church. I'll be down in Acharachal and Jade will be in Ardgower and Keel Church, 1st of September. It's always a, a nice time of the year as we get into the, the autumn and thinking about harvest and then we've got remembrance in November and goodness before we know it we'll be into <laughs> Advent and Christmas. So much to, to look forward to around our, our parishes. On Wednesday, Wednesday evening, 10 o'clock, as usual, there will be our Wednesday evening prayers, appreciated by many around the parishes here and beyond, and beyond our our country. Uh, we have some joining us from, from other, other places. So that is always on uh, YouTube and some of the, the Facebook channels. There's the Facebook group for Acharachal and Ardnamurchan Church. There's a separate Facebook group for Ardgower, Moravern and Strontian. And there is also a Peninsula Churches Facebook group as opposed to a page, which uh, can be a bit more interactive, but um, Facebook doesn't allow us to um, broadcast to the the group in the way that we were once able to do that. Something else um, to mention to you, not specifically church, but a wee link, um, uh, Duocas, the heritage group locally, have a heritage exhibition in the Village Hall, Saturday the 24th of August through until Monday the 26th, 1 until 4 and then 6 until 8pm. And as many will know, there are plans that have been talked about for a number of years now uh, that um, Strontian Church may become a, a heritage centre and be developed as a, a resource for the, the whole community for use um, for worship, for uh, life celebrations um, and for other community use. And plans are progressing well with the, the hope that there can be a, a community buyout through the uh, Sunart Community Company and Dokas, the, the, the heritage group, uh, working to set up a, a more permanent uh, heritage exhibition. So watch this space uh, for, for news as that develops. Hopefully a win-win a situation for church and community. The presbytery were now part of Claire Elanie, uh, the Gallic 
literally meaning the presbytery of Iona, uh, much bigger than Iona. We stretch from Wick and Thurso way up in the north down to, to Carradale and Campbelltown in the the south. And the presbytery was was formed. Loch Arbor Presbytery, along with eight others, came together to form that large group. And things are working working well. We're having to to learn new ways of engaging much more online, but looking forward to the September conference, which will be in Fort William. And it will be nice to see um, colleagues um, in the flesh rather than just in little boxes on on Zoom and, and Teams meetings. Also on Saturday, the 24th of August, 24th day of each month for many, many years now, there has been a call to, to all the, the world churches to pray for peace in Israel and Palestine, all the more significant in those recent months as conflict continues in those parts. So on the 24th of each month, for the last couple of months, we have established a, a local pattern of gathering somewhere around the peninsula, and um, we could possibly do so online uh, as well, to gather for prayer, remembering particularly the, the need for prayers for, for peace in Israel and, and Palestine. So as we end this episode of the Linked Parishes podcast, we will we'll pause and we'll, we'll say a, a little prayer. But let's, well, um, let's pause. Let's, let's pray. A prayer from Churches Together in Britain, and Ireland. O God of all, of Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, Isaac and Ishmael, our hearts are broken in pieces at the suffering and murder of your people. Our voices cry for peace and for justice. Comfort those who grieve, console and heal the injured. Be close to those in fear. Restrain with your mighty hand those who perpetuate violence. Send us your wisdom in all that we say and do, that our voice may always seek justice, peace and security for all. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Link Parishes podcast. For news of all that's happening around the Peninsula Churches, do check out peninsulachurches.org.uk. Find us on Facebook, as I have mentioned. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts or on Spotify for uh, an audio-only version. The Link Parishes are Church of Scotland congregations and charities registered with Oscar. Thank you for listening and may God bless you. <laughs>